magnificent, mysterious, sexy, and intriguing composition is all about spicy leather, incense, vanilla, plum, and musk. From the French, Chambre Noir, translates to English, Dark Room. This is an amazing between the sheet scent, and it deserves some attention from the Fragcom. This is Olfactive Studio, and this is Chambre Noir. Hello Fredcom Max Forte again. Now to talk to you guys about Chambre Noir by the House of Effective Studios as you saw at the introduction of the video. So this was a creation uh, from 2011. Let's talk about a little bit of um, the company, the background of the company. So Effective Studios is a niche perfumery uh, line that was launched in 2011. And for someone with extensive experience in the perfume industry, such as Céline Virlot, which is the, the founder of this company, um, she did something that had not been done up to that point. She um, utilized a blog in which uh, she took ideas from readers in, in order to create her uh, creations. So um, the line was born that way. Olfactive Studios uh, is a blend of modern art you know, in photography and the world of perfumes. Since both of these medias capture a moment and, you know, um, it's, it's something that gives us, you know, a cross between emotions, memories, and feelings, you know, with the art and, and the scent, you know, this was the birth of Olfactive Studio. So, Celine Velour uh, first conceived the names of the perfumes and gave freedom to three different photographers to showcase their inter interpretation of that name. Uh, and then these images served as inspirations for the perfumes who then created the compositions. Um, Effective Studio has currently seven perfumes in their uh, fragrance portfolio base. Um, they had a whole bunch that were launched in 2011, like the, the Chambre Noir that we are featuring here. And the latest one was introduced in 2014, uh, I believe late last year, which was um, Panorama, which I'll show right now on your screen. Um, and most of her uh, work, you know, Effective Studio, most of the fragrances were made in collaboration with perfumers like Natalie Larson, Dorothy Piot, Olivier Cresp, Clement Gavari, uh, just to name a few. So the presentation is very unique and artistic. Um, it's one of my favorites out there. I love what they're doing. It's very ingenious, very unique. Uh, so the box, as you see, it's a real nice case. Very nice, beautiful. You have Olfactive Studios right here. Uh, you have a picture. This is actually the picture that um, was given for this composition, Chambre Noir, 100 ml, Eau de Parfum, 3.4 ounces. Information about the company, the batch code is right there. More information here in the back. This seal here, you, you break it, and then obviously, this is almost like a leather, but it's really a thick matte finish box. And as you open this, you will get a beautiful, picture again of what inspired Chambre Noir, which is a beautiful skyline of what could be New York City or a big city for that matter. And then uh, more information here. Uh, the, ph the photographer is Clemence René Bazin. And you have a beautiful foam here, a thick foam where the bottle sits perfectly. And beautifully. So Chambre Noir, you have a beautiful tag here, very nice, very artistic, beautiful um, font. You have Olfactive Studios here on the little metal ring. This comes out, you have a little uh, shiny detail. Uh, it's a th very nice metal um, cap. More information about the company, the information about the bottle, batch code, made in France, all that good stuff. The bottle is very beautiful and the sprayer is very nice. Let's take a quick look at that. Beautiful mist, one of the best mists out there. So, this was the presentation of Chambre Noir, and let's go on to the price point and sizes. Okay, guys, so price point and sizes. This comes in two sizes a 50 ml for 145 American dollars, or 100 ml like this one for 195 dollars. This is only found in certain locations and niche stores uh, throughout cities, big cities, and certain websites. 
that sells niche and indie fragrances. This is not available at discount websites, period. You cannot find this discounted at this time, and I don't think you'll ever be able to. Um, the overall release of Perfumer and the nose behind this, this 2011 release was a composition from Dorothy Piot. She has made some uh, Angel Flankers uh, by Terry Mugler. She did Criminal Love by Killian and Memoir uh, Women by the House of Amouage, just to name some of her most prominent work. Um, the application of Best Time to Wear This Fragrance, I would spray anywhere from three to four sprays. Um, the performance is amazing. This is a dark, opulent, sensual scent. Definitely great to, for dates uh, between the sheets, which is where I like this the most. Um, and as the name suggests, obviously, Chambinois Dark Room, so this is a sensual, mysterious, good for dates and uh, you know close encounters. This is awesome for the cooler days, um, like spring, fall, and winter. It's not extremely dark and strong for the, you know, I'd say January, February New England weather. I think uh, this is not going to cut through the cold like Interlude Man, for example, by Amouage, but it definitely has some power. Uh, if you do, uh, I think, over four sprays, if you do like, you know, four to six, you could definitely wear this when it's really, really cold out and especially if you spray on your clothes. I would stay away in the high heat. This could be a little bit clawing, a little bit uh, too much if it's, uh, I'd say, 75 and up. Anything below 70, you're good to go with this. It's, you know, somewhat versatile. Uh, the classification is Oriental Leather. The note breakdown, you're going to get pink pepper up top. You, at the heart of this, you're going to get papyrus, plum, violet, incense, and jasmine. And at the base, you're going to get musk, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and leather beautiful combination guys. So the summary of this smell guys, this is a silky smooth, a bit sweet, not too much, you get the sweetness from the plum, a little boozy, soft, ambery, milky sandalwood, uh, some violets crushed and some nuances of uh, like a new, a brand new suede leather jacket. This is incredibly sexy to be enjoyed up close and personal by both sexes. This is definitely unisex sense. Um, this is warm, comforting, inviting, sensual, mysterious. You have the incense, the leather, the plum, it creates this alluring aura. Very inviting, guys. Uh, and whenever I wear this one, you know, my significant other really gets uh, drawn closer to me. So I think that this is going to be very inviting and very compelling uh, if you try this on your skin. Uh, when it comes to your significant other. This is definitely a keeper in my collection. This is a wonderful complex creation that has great silage and longevity. This performs very well, guys. In all, this is bottle worthy, for sure. This, for people that like spicy, leathery, incensey fragrances with a pinch of plum for sweetness, this is very unique and this is definitely for you. Um, great fragrance to be worn at night, uh, cooler months, this is, uh, like I said, somewhat versatile. Uh, just go easy on the trigger as the weather gets warmer, and you'll be good to go. This is in the same vicinity, the same vein as Tom Ford's Japon Noir, although not as, not as dark and, and, and strong as Japon Noir. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Pardon by Nasumato, and it also has uh, it, you know, some nuances of Yves Saint Laurent's vintage M7. So I really, really love this scent. Uh, the final rating, let's talk about this right now. The presentation, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. It's very, very nice. Beautiful presentation. Very artistic. One of the best from the niche uh, offerings out there. Definitely 5 out of 5. The scent itself gets a 5 out of 5. Very unique, very elegant, opulent, beautiful fragrance. Projection, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. It's above average, 6 plus hours. Longevity, I'll give this a 4.5. I get a little more uh, than 10 hours. If I spray on my clothes, I'll get 12 plus. So definitely, you know what, I'll give this a five. Very good longevity. Versatility, I'll give this a four and a half. This one is great, it's versatile, it's unisex. I would just stay away from this in the high heat. But cooler nights, even in the summertime, you can pull this off very nicely. Especially if you're going into a place that has air conditioning, you'd be good to go. Uh, uniqueness, I'll give this a five out of five. Very unique, it's unbelievable. Uh, one of the most unique leathery fragrances out there. It's just unbelievable. The combination, the trifecta with the incense, the plum, and the leather is just beautiful, just magical. Compliment factor, five out of five. Every time I wore this, I got compliments. 
I think depending on your setting and what you're wearing, you're definitely going to get lots of compliments. So definitely 5 out of 5. So this is a masterpiece. The overall and final rate for me, it's a 5 masterpiece. Definitely a must have for a fragrance lover. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see reviewed. Um, I got some really unique stuff coming up soon. Um, just uh, want to keep the site fresh. If you have any ideas, any suggestions for the site that you'd like to see, please comment. Let me know. I'll be happy to see what I can come up with. You know, I'm always trying to come up with you know fresh and, and surprising things for you guys, just to keep things fresh and, and, and going. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.